okay uh, I'll be we are now at getrespond.com okay so I'll be showing you how to load up your articles into getrespond so that uh, getrespond will email your prospects every two to three days okay so the first thing we need to do is to log into your getrespond so you may want to key in your username and password and then click on login okay so once you're here you should be able to see uh, this look at this link set up my autorespondent okay click on this choose campaign this drop down box here and choose the campaign that you want to set up so for me I will set up this campaign I will set up this trial campaign okay so you come to this page the next thing you need to do is to click on create new messages Right now, yeah, we'll be now you'll be able to see this message editor page. Okay, so this is where you input your subject line, and this is where you input your articles. Okay, so before I go on and input my articles, so I want to explain to you what do I what does this interval means. Okay, let's click on this. Okay, zero day means that uh, the moment your prospects opt in, straight away the zero that means straight away this email this article will be sent out immediately okay if you set the emails as zero days that means that email itself will be sent out immediately when someone opt into your squeeze page all right okay so if you want a second message to go out on the uh, at two days later so all you need to do is just key in number two over here so that means that on the, the second message will go out two days later after the first message so if you want the third message to go out four days later all you need to do is to key in four and so forth and so on okay so you need to plan out how many days you want a message to send so usually I'll recommend about two to three days for which email message okay so let me paste uh, the articles into this message editor now Okay, I have actually uh, copied my articles into Microsoft Words, so I'll be going to copy everything into my GetResponse. Let me copy the subject line. Okay, so after this, the next thing I need to do is key in high, followed by the first name of the person, of my prospects. Okay, so in order to key in the first name, you need to look at this icon here on the right side. Click on this, okay, and you should be able to see this first name. Okay, click on this icon click on that link okay and your first name will appear here alright so what this means is that uh, let's go to a squeeze page let me show you an example now this is the first name and the email address okay so what this means is that if your prospects key in his name here if his name is John alright the email that he received will be named after him as John. Hi John. Okay, this is how it works. Okay, so get respond actually copies exactly what your prospects key in into the squeeze page. So if your prospect key in Johnson, okay, so he will receive a him he will receive an email as Hi Johnson, okay, which will address to himself. All right. So that's how it works. Okay, so. Uh, let me copy the rest of my articles okay here's the rest of my articles copy and paste it in all right okay so as you can see that's it all right so scroll all the way down to the bottom I will strongly suggest that you test your message first so click on this test but message a pop-up box will appear okay so all you need to do is key in your email address and click on test it okay so when you click on test it uh, get respond will send out this message this emails that you have just key in okay for you to go through for you to go through so all you need to do is check your email account 
and read through the emails and make sure that everything is in working order in the format is according to what you want okay so it is according to what you want so all you need to do is go back here to this page okay save this message okay you may want to click on next step all right okay our message has been saved your article has been saved as you can see from here all right this is the first message that will go out first email that will go out when your prospects opt in to your squeeze page okay so now let's uh, set up one more example one more emails okay so the next first thing you need to do is click on this link create another follow-up message okay so now I want this email to go out two days after the first message so I key in two Alright, so let me copy the rest of my articles into this. Copy and paste it. Same thing. Key in high. Followed by the first name. Go back to my articles. Copy and paste it. okay then after that the next thing you need to do is to test message okay I won't be testing the message but I'll suggest that you test a message test every message that you load in okay so or another thing I need to explain to you is that you need to use plain text email okay not HTML so always make sure that your plain text is on not HTML okay so once we load this message, click on next step. Okay, now you can see our message has been saved. All right. So if you want to set up a third message and fourth message, all you need to do is just repeat the same process.